In this video, we will look at a few examples that will allow us to practice finding the area and perimeter of triangles. So in example A, it says find the area of the triangle. So remember that the area of a triangle is base times height divided by two. And that's because triangles are half of rectangles and the area of a rectangle is base times height. So therefore the area of a triangle is base times height divided by two. So we always have to figure out what are we gonna use as our base and what are we gonna use as our height. It's important to remember that the base and the height always have to be perpendicular to each other, meet at right angles. So in this case, we're gonna to have to use seven as our base because that's the only side of the triangle that we know another piece of information or we could figure out another piece of information that's perpendicular to it. If that's the base, this would have to be our height, which we actually don't know yet, but we could figure out. So we're gonna end up trying to solve for this side right here, the height. And we can do that using Pythagorean theorem or by recognizing this as a Pythagorean triple. So we have this right triangle here, and we know that three squared plus h squared equals five squared. Therefore, nine plus h squared equals 25. So if we subtract nine from both sides, we get h squared equals 16, which means h equals four. So our height is four and our base is seven. So that means the area is going to be base seven times height four divided by two. So that gives us 28 divided by two or 14. And no units are given in this problem. So we can just say units squared. And for area, you always want to have units squared. All right, let's go to example B. Find the perimeter of the triangle from example A. All right, so let's go back to example A. And this time we're trying to find the perimeter of that whole triangle. Okay, so so far we know two sides of the triangle. We know this side right here is seven and this side right here is five. In order to find the perimeter, we need to know all three sides and add them up. So, so far we know the perimeter is going to be seven plus five plus something else, this mystery side over here. Now, in order to solve for this side, we can actually think about this big right triangle and use the Pythagorean theorem. So for this big right triangle, the two sides are 10, which is this full length, seven plus three, and four. And we're solving for the hypotenuse. So we know that 10 squared plus four squared equals, let's call this x, x squared. So keep solving, we get 100 plus 16 equals x squared. So 116 equals x squared which means that X is approximately 10.77. So that means our missing side right here was about 10.77 with the help of the Pythagorean theorem. So in our perimeter, we can add in 10.77 as our third side, which means that the perimeter is 22.77 units. In example C, it says to find the area of a triangle with base of length 28 centimeters and height of 15 centimeters. So those are the two pieces of information we need to know to find the area of a triangle. Remember that area is base times height divided by two for triangles. So in this case, we'll plug in our information, 28 times 15 divided by two which is 420 divided by two or 210. And our units will be centimeters squared. So the area equals 210 centimeters squared.